we have an audio uh, crew of four mixers, a production mixer, uh, a music mixer, uh, a PA mixer, and a monitor mixer, uh, and three A2s, three audio assistants. That's the basic crew here. When, uh, when we have uh, music in the lobby, uh, we, uh, uh, we add an additional, uh, an additional uh, audio assist and a monitor mixer. When we are out in the, in the, the backyard with the concert stage, uh, we have, add five people. We add two, two additional uh, A2s, uh, a system tech to make sure the system is running and he assists with the monitors, a monitor mixer, and a front of house mixer. So, I don't know, do the math, that's seven and five. What's that, 12 people. That's a, that, on, uh, on any given day, we can have as many, 12, as many as 12 people working on the audio group. Uh, for me, our music, uh, our music department, we have uh, uh, a, uh, a music, uh, uh, our, our music booker, our music producer, I guess, well, I don't know what, you, what his fish ti uh, official title is, Scott Igo. Uh, he books the bands. Uh, then he hands them off to his, uh, 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 to uh, the actual producer, uh, uh, Mac Burris. And Mac and I work really closely together, um, uh, trying to, trying to communicate with the bands about what they need, what they want, what, uh, what they can bring and what they can't bring. And it's just a constant, it's a constant uh, uh, battle with most of these bands. Uh, not, I wouldn't say it's a battle, but you know, a lot of bands are, uh, uh, we are, uh, you know, they're used to their monitor system. They want to bring their monitors, they want to bring their ears, they want, uh, they just want a lot of stuff. And, you know, if, if we can, we'll accommodate them. But the problem, uh, the biggest problem uh, uh, for me in, in this position uh, is it's, it's a control thing. Because particularly on the outside stage, you know, uh, if we let uh, bands bring all of their equipment in, uh, you know, they think they're doing a concert out there. And they're not. They're doing two songs on our television show. And, um, and um, you know, most of the bands are okay, but we've had to, we've had a couple of bands that have uh, uh, one band in particular uh, who they just they just seized the stage and and uh, uh, and ran away with it. And uh, if it hadn't have been a pre-tape that wasn't going to air for a month and a half, uh, I would have thrown a, I would have thrown a flag in the play. I just would have had my guys walk off the stage until we got control again. That's the one thing I can't afford to do is to lose control here because we are on such a tight time time limit um, that uh, 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 you know if we if we lose if if we if if I don't have control over when we do things um, it jeopardizes it jeopardizes the show it really does so. You know, it's my, my job. It's a very it's delicate. There's a lot of politics. I don't. I want to be as accommodating as possible. I don't want to piss anybody off. I don't want to get heavy. You know, and you know, uh, and I'll and I'll have to say this. A lot of the way that I react is how people come to me. If people come to me with with an attitude, you know, I can toot them right back. Um, uh, but I've got I've in my old age, I've learned that it's. Uh, I've learned it's. Uh, it's. I've learned how to deal with, with, with people a lot better. That's that's another thing. Uh, uh, you know, uh, there's a lot of mixers out there uh, that uh, are, you know, in terms of their technical ability and their ability to put up a to put up a great sounding mix. I mean, they're okay, but the reason that they, that they that they're successful, I think, is because. Of their personality and their ability to get along with people and um, to uh, to be positive in in uh, uh, you know in the uh, within the creative situation.